Oh, we have to go to the hotline. Oh, right. Something popped up late last night. Oh, did you jack it? Uh, I jacked it. Uh, Wicked Tuna. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. I'm Wicked a big tuna. fan of the Wicked Tuna. <clears throat> And it's on Nat Geo. It's on Sundays at 9. And yeah. we started talking about Wicked Tuna a little bit a couple weeks ago. And then uh, one of the guys that is, uh, I don't know, has a connection to one of the Wicked Tuna boats uh -huh. that, that is featured on the show offered me a... Uh, uh, a ride out on the boat? Ride out on the boat and maybe try to catch some tuna or at least uh, check it out as they catch the tuna. Ooh. And I said, hell yeah. But then it turned out this guy's boat sank or something, and he's he was waiting... He was waiting to get the boat uh, back, you know, up and running. Uh huh. Now there's another wicked tuna guy that's on the line right now, and he's really pissed off about the whole thing. I think, Does or he wants to clear him? up some things. Mm. Well, let I, him, I'm kind of confused myself. Let him clear up some things. But we certainly said that we would, uh, you know, take his phone call today. So it's Dave, uh, Dave Marciano. Dave, welcome to the Opie and Anthony Show. Hey guys, what's going on, man? How are you? Oh, uh, we're we're doing well, man. How are you? Good, good, good. Living the dream. Living the dream. Well, that's good. Yeah. Now, I, I'm kind of confused here. What what, what happened? Well, I mean, regardless of what, you know, things are said and what happened, you know, you guys have seen it enough that, um, you know, over the years with an older boat like mine, you know, mine's, you know, an oldest boat in the show. Uh, it was built in 1984. So mm -hmm. every now and then we seem to have some te technical difficulties. But regardless of what happens, you know, I've become an expert over the years at putting Humpty Dumpty back together again and getting back in the game, and that's what's important. Okay. Right. So, so is is the boat is the boat okay? So the guy that uh, <laughs> hold on, hold on, maybe I can help out here. Oh yeah, uh, uh, Dave is the real deal, by the way. Oh yeah. Now, Dave, the guy that contacted me on Twitter, does he work for you? Uh, I don't know. I don't know who it was. So I, I have no idea who it was. I, I didn't hear the show. It was just some of my fans contacted me. So it just got a little weird. I was like, oh, all right. Well, I'll see what's up, you know. Oh, so, is so, your, so it's not your boat that's out of commission right now? Well, well the boat is hauled out. And we're, we, you know, we're, we're making some modifications to her. Um, but, if, you know, look, at, I support my family through fishing. So, you know, any time, yeah, I have problems with the boats over the years, we straighten them out, we get back in the game. Uh -huh. Yeah, I don't know what the problem is, though. If this guy was just uh, telling me that he would, you know, uh, take me for a ride, man. <laughs> but you're not yeah. sure if, if it's the guy connected to you. Yeah, no, I know it's not my crew. Jay's a great guy. You see, my crew, the only guys who work for me is Jay and... Uh, um, my 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 son, right? Now it wouldn't surprise me if one of the other skippers from the show contacted you to throw me under the bus. You know that kind of happens all the time. Mm. I don't know what's going on. Uh, one of the boats. One of the boats was um, down, but it's it's not out. It's not down and out. He's saying that he thinks that some one of the other shippers. What's that? Shippers said that his boat was <laughs> sunk. You know, to make him look bad. Oh, did they say that, Dave? Uh, you know, you, you know, one of the, one of the other schoolgirls got their panties all up in a bunch. <laughs> oh, <laughs> now he's throwing some, uh, throwing some chum. I like it, <laughs> Dave. Uh, you know, the, the office still stands. If you guys want to get out here and go fishing this summer, you know, um, I'll definitely take you out. And I'll show you. I'll show you that our merchandise is. You know, it's a real boat, and it's always in the game. And, you know, you've seen it before. I might get knocked down, you know, if you, if you watch the last episode. I get knocked down, but I always get back up. You sure do. I, I'm trying I'm to... Unfortunately, I can't find the, the tweet so I could, like, figure out what the hell's going on. So you're, you're mm. saying one of the other boat guys is kind of uh, taking shots at you. Possibly. I don't know. I don't know who, I don't know who the tweet was. I didn't see Fuck. it myself and everything. Somebody uh, help me out on Twitter right now. Just send me the, send me the guy's uh, tweet or the guy's Twitter account so I could... Uh, Figure this out with Dave. Dave, when uh, when does tuna season start? Um, for us, generally around June first is when it opens by law, um, and there you know we're we're allowed to begin harvesting. Now um, that being said, you know we're dealing with fish, and the fish deal with conditions. You know water temperature, amounts of bait, but uh, so they show up when the conditions are right for them. But it opens by law June first, and usually. Sometimes it's right on June 1st. They're out there waiting for us. Uh, but I suspect this year, you know, we're going to have to wait for that water temperature to heat up a little bit before they get here and, 
you know, get thick enough to target. Right. Now, what, what what's the biggest uh, tuna you've caught? 1,200 pounds is my personal best. E-Rock. 1,200 <laughs> 1,200 yeah. pounds. Wait, what's the biggest on Wicked Tuna so far? Um, I, I think uh, one of the other boats, Kevin, in season one on the Christina, he had one that was like 1,100 and something. So he, he, that was a really sweet fish. Yeah. Had. And I, I, you know. Now that I'm a fan of Wicked Tuna, you guys fish for other stuff as well, right? Compliments. Yeah, gener- generally, like I fish year round, or at least I used to. Now, the ground fish industry in New England has gone <laughs> through some major changes in the past, um, you know, 10 years or so, uh, as we try to rebuild other stocks of fish, like cod, haddock, and pollock, fish that everybody likes to eat. Right. Um, Kevin Pollock. So, you know, you know we've had some difficulty in trying to stay employed uh, year round. You know, in the past, say, 10 years ago, I used to make a paycheck just running my boat uh, alone, right? But mm. nowadays, um, because of the regulations and the cutbacks and the want to uh, rebuild some of the other stocks of fish, you know, I, I run my boat. I'll go as skipper on another boat. I run a boat out of the Bedford and target monkfish for a few months. It's like a mercenary. Um, Look at you. Yeah, <laughs> basically a mercenary. I, I guess that's the way you could say it. But, yeah. you know, for me, the bottom line yeah. is that's my job is fishing. So, um, right. I'm, you know, I'm not too proud. If I get to go on deck for a trip and be a mate for a trip, I can do that, too. What, you know, whatever it takes. And, and how long? Because you know it's a it's a half hour TV show or an hour. I forget hour. Whatever hour TV show. Yeah, it's, not, it's an hour show. I guess it's forty two minutes after they added in the commercials. Yeah, but how how many hours are you out there before you get something? Oh well, yeah. I mean, it, and that's definitely the part that you know you guys don't see. Probably if you saw tuna fishing, how it really was, it'd be about as exciting as watching grass grow. Really, we invest. A, I love we that show. A lot of time <laughs> in waiting because that's that's. You know what you guys see is just the highlights, of course, right? Because it's TV. And you pretty it's much you pretty much show. only you pretty much only catch one a day if you're lucky, right? Because then you got to get it back in quickly. Yeah, yeah. We you know we're allowed um, up to three a day by law um, of the Giants. Um, mm. You know, and, and, if, and what they do is they change that number. Like if they, if we're catching the quota early in the season, if we're catching the quota fast. They'll drop it to two fish a day or even one fish a day. But the point yeah. is that, wow. you, you know, you're lucky to get one a day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, if, if we get a fish, if we get one fish, we can make a paycheck out of that. And then um, then it's bonus time. You go back out there hoping you can get one more, but it, the, the odds are against sure. you getting two in a day, right? Sure. You no, know, and, and we have times when the fishing's good, um, you know, where, where we, we might, um, you know, get two or even three a day. But that's certainly not the norm, without a doubt. I just don't understand because the these guys are going for tuna, mm-hmm. and they got to just figure it out, and they have to fucking have a tuna come around and fucking yeah. take a bite off their bite, shit, bite that hook. Unbelievable, right. crazy. But right? No, you know, and a lot of it again. Like we spend, we might fish, um, you know, for four days to get that one fish for the week. Yeah. And that's when we get paid for the four days we were out there waiting, you know, with our pot in our hand. Right, yeah. It's not a, in the end. It's not a lot of money to go around if you're waiting four days. You got a crew. You got a maintenance on your boat and your you know, pud. and your shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no. Look, you know that's the story of commercial fishing in New England. Um, you know, uh, funny word. <laughs> there's a lot of good guys that go fishing in New England for a living. You know, and uh, it's a great industry to be a part of. Right. But one thing it's always been is it's never been stable. You know, we're not like you guys. We don't get a check every week, no matter what. No. You know, there's weeks where I don't put your fish. I don't get a paycheck. I've worked all week. All I can do is, you know, we have to look at it at the end of a season. Yeah, we at the end of the season. At at the end of the tuna season, you know, did I make a check? Did Jay make a check? Did the fuel bill get paid? Did the mortgage get paid? Did Mm. the insurance get paid? And it's, you know, a lot of times for us, it seems like it's a rarity when at the end of a season, you know, after you add in fixing the boat, everything else, we we we, are profit. we even get paid when we're not here. Oh, it's amazing. Wow, yeah. I want a job like that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, Dave. Uh, you're my favorite on the show now because you called us. Of course. Dave uh, Marciano right, cool. from uh, Wicked Tuna. I really do like the show. When's the next season start up again? Um, we're, for, we're for, for, I mean, for TV. For TV. 
Oh, I don't know. I mean, it's in season two now, if you guys have been watching. Last uh, Sunday night at 9 o'clock was episode nine. Yep. Uh, there's going to be 15 episodes this season. Yep. Um, you know, and there's been some big changes, you know, if you've been keeping up with the show. You know, Paul got fired off the Tuna.com again. Yep. You know, there was another chick fight over there. So, yep. you know, now Paul's going to wind up on another boat, it looks like. Right. Yeah. All right, Dave. It really is a good show. I really enjoy it. And I, I don't know where the confusion was. I still don't know what the hell <laughs> happened. But uh, we I'd love to go on your boat maybe this summer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, that's it. You know, you guys have my contact data, you know, through, um, through uh, the people who contacted you. And any time... And I'm always watching her on Twitter, too. I'm following you guys on Twitter. I'll keep an eye on things nice. now. Right on. And, uh, just give me a shout-out, and, and we'll get you out of the boat. And you'll see for yourself what a great rig she oh, I would love to check it out. So it's Capt, uh, Capt, C-A-P-T, Marciano on Twitter. Thanks, uh, Dave. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much for a chance to uh, clear the air here. All right. Uh, certainly. All right, brother. There you go. Later. Later. All right. We'll talk to you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. All right. Obviously, he has pride in what he does, but I, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know what's going on. I didn't understand. Sounds like a big much. fish story to me. Ah, uh, good <laughs> one. Very good one. I think goes... another. I think another guy from another boat offered me, uh, you know, the experience uh -huh. of tuna fishing, but then had to admit that his boat's not happening right now. Right. And then somehow that pissed off Dave because then I think it made the industry itself look bad. Maybe. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know, but he he really wanted to talk to us today. So. I just know that the uh, fishermen seem to be just like the uh, truckers. Uh, that's very lonely out there on the water, I think, yeah. and uh, well, they like to talk. <laughs> <laughs> they could be out there easily 12, 16 hours without catching anything yeah. for a couple of days, and they finally get the big tuna. Yes. Yeah. They pull their puds? Sam's saying they pull their puds. Well, no, that's what he I, said. You, I learned that from the interview. He just said, uh, we're out there pulling our puds. <laughs> pull, pulling pud, our puds. Pud is a I love, hilarious word for love a cock. using that word. Pud. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, boy, fishing. I ain't going. You wouldn't way. go fishing? Fuck no. To check I out tuna fishing? so sick. You would I get can't. sick? Yeah, I get seasick on those uh, fishing boats. I go on a cruise boat. We're going on a cruise, but I can't. Uh, oh, I love fishing. I can't go on a, a fishing boat. I used to do it a lot growing up. Not so much uh, these days. Uh, I would uh, love to uh, check uh, that out. Uh, Never really uh, went deep, uh, deep sea fishing. Deep sea fishing. We went for the blues and the stripers. Yeah, and uh, the flounder. Uh -huh. Most of the time, you got those ugly sea bass. It's stinky. What fish? Fishing is a smelly business. Yeah. It smells like uh, fish. Yeah, and it's a very sloppy. So you get like fish guts and scales on you. Uh, are we talking about Jim's uh, favorite woman again? The uh, oh, the the hairy woman. <laughs> I love her. She's so sexy, dude. Yeah. Very similar to fishing. <laughs> yeah. Bianca's a very she good. Smells girl. like the bilge of fucking. She's got a little bait down Captain there. Captain Marciano's boat. You don't like a pussy like that, dude? Like a big uh, fucking meaty pussy? Oh, oh, makes me crazy. I like them, uh, you know, standard. Oh. I like the standard issue. The yeah. sloppier, the better for Jimmy. I don't need no yeah, extra no, I don't parts. Mean, when I say sloppy, I don't mean... That's good when it comes to sandwiches, but... Yeah. I don't mean it, yeah. like a fucked pussy. I don't like a neat sandwich. You want to get a sandwich with a lot of meat hanging out of the side hey, of the roll. Right. A, lot, a lot of uh, different juices and but, spreads right, right, and right. stuff, but... Not a vagina. <laughs> not a vagina, not so no, much. I'm just no. the opposite. Not so much. I like a nice, neat liverwurst sandwich <laughs> with the lettuce not even sticking out. Yeah. Yeah, a gentleman sandwich. Some olive loaf. No, I don't like Ooh, olive loaf. Olive loaf. Iraq e loves the olive loaf. Iraq e loves it. I don't know why. Because <clears throat> he looks like one. Oh. oh He's oh, a human shit. olive loaf. <laughs> That was his nickname in high school, Old Olive Loaf Boy. Olive Loaf. Hey, look, here comes Olive Loaf. He'd walk in with pimento in his cheek. Yeah. Other Olive Loaf <laughs> things in his hair.